Hey guys, we're here with Justin, and who are we here with? Mario Jester. And what'd you do today? Uh, we got top four at a PS5 tournament with all the boys. It was lit. Let's go. Going crazy. Shout out to homie Justin for winning. Ooh. We're about to do this half awake. Let's go. All right. What'd you play? I played Labyrinth. Ooh. Not to be confused with that Ikea stuff. Oh, so We played the hate. We were always coming for the disrespect. Honestly, um, we theoried this deck today and yesterday. And then, like, honestly, it just kind of worked. Uh, strategy was good. Um, I like having the floodgates as an inherent age. All right, let's get into it. All righty, so the Labyrinth cards, at this point, I believe we all know what they do, so I'm just going to go over what I played. So we did three Lady, two Iriana, a Lovely for the lab cards. Then we had board breakers, the three lava golems and sphere motes. These cards were actually insane. Two wannabe MVB card. That card's crazy. Um, very quick short uh, synopsis with this card for those who don't know what it does because it's relatively new. Uh, at the end phase, not yours, the end phase, you can send it to the graveyard and then up to a number of spell and trap card zones your opponent has empty you can excavate those cards off the top of the deck and then set a trap card. Cards crack. Should have been at three. Moving on, we got three extravagance, one prosperity. This should have been backwards. I just actually didn't have three of this card, so we had to get in how we can fit it in. You heard me. Um, trap cards, three evenly match, three skill drain, three welcome lab, three big welcome lab, Two D barrier, two punishment, two compulse, two karma cannon, two goes and match, and two of this broken card tears of the old group. This also should have been three. So like with some of the builds, uh, I've seen a lot of. Let's say you'll see him play Heavenly Prison, which definitely is not a bad card. Um, this particular strategy I wanted to do going into the event. I kind of wanted to have some hate um, going second. So that's why we have like the evenly matches and then the lava golems and then the one spear mode, wherever that is. Yeah, yeah. So the strategy for the most part worked. Um, I definitely sided Lords, but we'll get into that. Um, moving on. Scoop. Next, moving on to, we'll do extra, right? We'll do two Gurus, two Intess, Fossil, Wagon, Underworld, never made it, Nightcracker, never made it, um, whatever this card's famous, um, Chaos Angel, made it once. Um, Trevor Gate, Link 5, dude, Ben Gear Suit, Zeus. Um, I'll be quite honest, in this particular variant, um, I didn't use any of these cards, for the exception of punishment targets. Uh, when I did bring this up against Cash, it was actually adorable. Um, he did end up getting to a cute way to out it with Fenrir, but other than that, and like Scareclaw, but this card was good. I didn't make Zeus the entire day. Um, didn't make this, and Tess was nuts. Um, in reality, I would say in this particular variant compared to the furniture strategy, um, the most utilized extra egg monsters will be these. So, um, as long as you have these, I would say you're fine. This is good utility going into the cash matchup or the mirror match. Um, if you go to cash Dira, if you can catch them, um, with the rise heart, you can go punishment on rise heart, pop it, um, and then pop one of the other cash bodies. And then you have follow up to cut off the recursion by like popping birth or random back row, but yada, 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 ETC. Um, this card is broken if you make it, because Wannabe is, guess what, a light monster. Unlike some of these other decks, you can actually get its effect to, like, shut off uh, monster effects. So it's pretty cute. Now, um, let's see. We'll go to the sideboard. Skirt. Sideboard. So I'll be completely forthcoming. The homies looked out, so some of these cards that are in this, I don't have because I was brought on them. But we have two Lord of the Heavenly Prison, two Nibiru, three Ash Blossom. We always respect Bestia in this matchup. The second Wing Dragon Ross Spear Mode. Um, this was, I think, yeah. This was uh, three Bestial, so this was two Magnemuts and then a Druid Swarm. 
And then, um, that's what this is. Eradicator and free anti-spell. Anti-spell in the sideboard was MVP. Um, outside of the unfortunate circumstance of playing my homie Justy in top four and not seeing this um, when it mattered going first, game three, um, this actually was crazy all day. Um, I just got tired of like contesting get hit with Lightning Storm and uh, uh, Harpies, yada, yada, ETC. I was like, I owe it to myself to not be in that situation. So anti-spell overperformed as a card. I love it. Um, this is kind of weird. I put it in a couple games just to try it. Um, this is like the first time we've really like tried this particular variant in the new format. Um, but I found myself more times than not, even if it was applicable, like let's say against Kashira, I wouldn't put it in at all because I didn't want to play into talents. So uh, most of the cards I would say we cited today would be the Nibs, the Sphere Mode, and the Lord, and obviously the NC Spills. Bestials actually popped up against uh, Drytron play around five. Shout out to the homie for trying to bring that back in 2023. Um, it put him in a situation. He did have some sauce so out of respect. I'm not going to reveal. But Magnumut kind of forced him to use his sauce to where, let's say, he couldn't, like, use his sauce against something like Lady of Labyrinth. So it allowed me to continue being in my recursion and then playing my game. Eradicator, I did something cute um, with this card today. Um, <laughs> against my homie, just see where we, like, literally went battle phase. He tried to attack because I put I Tears of the Overrude to D-Shifter back into play or one of his cards, and he went attack. And I hit him with Eradicator in the battle phase and sent, like, a spell out of hand. It was, like, adorable. Um, but that card was good. Um, looking at, like, how the deck worked, our total overall record is in six rounds of Swiss. Um, we went 5-1. and one. I lost round one. I think it was Sprite Live Tour, maybe. You just played this game. Like, nothing crazy. It's just, oh, so that deck, too. Yeah, that deck's, like, nuts. I mean, you just freaking popped off. Like, I couldn't keep up with it. But we played against that. Um, two Kashiras, this dope dude playing Fish, which I didn't think was real up until the point Reality kicked in where he could actually activate Shifter in that deck. And I'm like, yo, that's insane. Uh, then the Drytron, then the Cash. And then I played against Top 8. Uh, top 8, I played against my homie Larry playing Kashira. And then I played against Justy, which won it all in Top 4 in Kashira as well. <laughs> so, um, Any shout outs? First off, uh, we'll be here all night. Shout out to my homie Justin Singh. Uh, go, y'all go follow him at Rampango Nation. Shout out to the homie Yumpy. Shout out to JNC. Shout out to Ground Game. Shout out to Austin. Shout out to Cincy Yu Gi Oh. Shout out to Columbus Yu Gi Oh. Shout out to Interstellar. Y'all rock with y'all boys. Shout out to anybody and everybody. I can't think of off the top of my head because it's like one o'clock in the morning. And then first and well, last but not least, shout out to my native Mansfield, Ohio, and post sport gaming. We up North Ohio. Right. Thank you again and congrats. Yeah.